Okay, the principle that we use when solving exponential equations is that log base a of a to the g of x is equal to g of x. Okay, so one way to think about why this is true is that log base a of x and a to the x are inverse functions. Okay, so for example, log base 3 of 3 to the 2x plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 1. Okay, let's use this principle to solve an exponential equation. Okay, let's solve 8 raised to the 3x plus 7 power is equal to 9. The first step that we're going to do is we're going to take the log of we're, we're going to take the log with base 8 of both sides. Okay, take the log with base 8 of both sides. So we have log base 8 of this equals log base 8 of this. Okay, the reason we chose base 8 is because 8 is the base of the exponential that has x in the exponent. Okay, so that's the base you're going to use for the log. The next thing we're going to do is simplify the left-hand side. Log base 8 of 8 to the 3x plus 7 is just 3x plus 7. So 3x plus 7 equals log base 8 of 9. Okay, next we need to isolate x, so we're going to subtract 7 from both sides. I put parentheses around the log base 8 of 9 so that you don't get confused and think that you're doing 9 minus 7 in the log. Okay, the last thing that we do is we divide both sides by 3. So we find that x is equal to log base 8 of 9 minus 7 divided by 3. Okay, let me give you two to try. Okay, press pause while you work on these two. Let me give you a hint in part B that you want to isolate the 4 to the 2x plus 3 before you take the logarithm. Okay, in this one, the first thing that you do is you take log base 6 of both sides. Then you simplify the left-hand side, and so it's just equal to the exponent. Subtract 1 from both sides then divide both sides by negative 2. So this is the solution. Okay, over here, first we subtract 1 from both sides, then divide by 3. Okay, the next thing we do is we take log base 4 of both sides, simplify the left-hand side to get just 2x plus 3, then we subtract 3, and then divide by 2. Okay, so your final answer is x equals log base 4 of 7 thirds minus 3 divided by 2. Okay, let's do this one together. So we have 8 to the 1 plus 2x equals 8 to the 7th. In the other problems, I told you to take the log base 8 of both sides to get the exponent out of the exponent. But when the bases are the same, then the exponents have to be the same. So 1 plus 2x must be equal to 7. So 2x is 6, subtract 1 from both sides, and x is 3. Okay, so if you have an exponent equals an exponent, or I should say, if you have an exponential equals an exponential, and the bases are the same, then the exponents have to be the same. Okay, let's move on to logarithmic equations. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do to solve this equation is I'm going to condense the logarithm, the logarithmic expression on the left-hand side. Okay, so we want to have only one log. We don't want to have a sum of logs, and we don't want to have a difference of logs. Okay, so log base 2 of 4x plus log base 2 of x is equal to log base 2 of 4x times x. So that's equal to 2. 
4x times x is just 4x squared. Okay, now by properties of, or I should say by the definition of the logarithm, 2 raised to the second power is 4x squared. Okay, so that's how I get the 4x squared out of the log. I rewrite it in exponential form. Okay, 2 squared is 4, so I have 4 equals 4x squared. If I divide both sides by 4, I get 1 equals x squared. So I know that x is equal to either 1 or negative 1. Okay, when you are solving logarithmic e equations, you introduce the possibility of having an extraneous solution in the method that's used to solve it. Okay, so in the original problem, we have restrictions on x. Namely, 4 times x can't be negative because I can't take the log of a negative number. So what we have to do is we have to check our answers to see if either is an extraneous solution. So let's start with x is equal to 1. We check it by plugging it into both sides and seeing if it's equal. Plugging into the left-hand side, we have log base 2 of 4 times 1, and that's 4, plus log base 2 of 1, and we want to know whether or not that equals 2. Well, log base 2 of 4 is equal to 2, since 2 squared is 4, so that's 2, plus log base 2 of 1 is equal to 0, since 2 raised to the 0 power is 1. And we want to know if that is equal to 2, and of course it is, because 2 plus 0 is 2. So 1 is a solution to this equation here. Now we have to check x equals negative 1. So we have log base 2 of 4 times negative 1. But right away, we know that 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, and I cannot take log base 2 of negative 4. So x equals negative 1 is an extraneous solution. All right, I'm going to give you a couple to try. Okay, press pause while you work on these two. Okay, the first step that we're going to do is we're going to condense the log on the left-hand side. So we get log base 3 of 5 times x plus 4. Let's distribute the 5 here. So we get log base 3 of 5x plus 20 equals 2. Now we have 3 raised to the second power equals 5x plus 20. Okay, 3 squared is 9. And now we just solve for x by subtracting 20 and dividing by 5. Okay, so we get x equals negative 11 divided by 5. So the last thing that we have to do is we have to check and make sure it works. So we have log base 3 of 5 plus log base 3 of negative 11 over 5 plus 4. And we want to know whether that not that is equal to 2. Okay, negative 11 over 5 plus 4 is really negative 11 over 5 plus 20 over 5, and that's 9 over 5. Okay, so log base 3 of 5 plus log base 3 of 9 fifths is really log base 3 of 5 times 9 fifths. 5 times 9 fifths is 9. Okay, and log base 3 of 9 does equal to 2, d does equal 2, since 3 squared is 9. Okay, so that means that negative 11 fifths does solve, uh, here we are, this equation right here. Okay, let's get to this equation. First, we condense this logarithm expression. 
So we have log base 4 of x squared plus 3x is 1. So that means 4 raised to the first power is x squared plus 3x. To solve this, we'll get 0 on one side and then factor. So 0 equals x plus 4 times x minus 1. And that means that x can either be negative 4 or positive 1. I'll leave it for you to check that negative 4 is an extraneous solution, but 1 does work. So the solution to this is x equals 1.